Hi viewers and students, in the last classes we discussed uh, one of the central tendencies that is mean. We discussed uh, direct method, assumed mean method and step deviation method which are used to find the mean of uh, classified data or group data. Today let us discuss another central tendency that is mode. Okay, children, have you ever heard the word mode? Very good. The word mode and the concept mode is uh, not a new thing to you. It was already discussed in your 7th, 8th and 9th classes. Let us recall the same knowledge uh, now. Okay, children, let us take heading mode. First, we discuss uh, the mode of ungrouped data or raw data. Okay, children, anybody of you say what is mode? Very good. The most occurring value in the data is called as mode. Or the most repeating observation in the data is called mode. Okay, children, what is mode? Mode is nothing but most repeating observation in the data is called as mode. That means when we write the observations of the data, some observations of the data may be repeated. In them, which observation is occurred many number of times comparing to other observations? That observation is the mode of the data. It is very simple concept. By observation of the raw data, we can calculate the mode no additions, no subtractions, no division. Just by observation, we can guess, we can conclude the value of the mode of the data. Okay, children, let us understand the concept of mode by taking an example. Okay, let us write the question. You can see the same question on the screen. See, children, here is the data which has the observations as shown on the screen. They are 10, 20, 16, 18, 8, 10, 20, 15, 9, 20, 16, 8, 10, 20. These are the observations of the data. You can see the same observations on the screen. The question is find the mode of the data. Okay, children. When we have to find the mode of the raw data, we have to observe the data clearly and we come to conclusion which observation occurred, which observation is repeated many number of times comparing to other observations. Okay children, let us see all the observations which are on the screen. Okay, when we observe those observations, we conclude that 10 is repeated three times. Okay, you can see on the screen. And 8 is repeated for two times. You can see the same thing on the screen. And 16 is repeated two times. And 20 is repeated four times. Just by observations, we observe the data and observed which observation occurred how many times. Okay, children, by observations, you can conclude which is the mode. Okay, children, which observation occurred, which observation repeated many number of times. Very good. The observation 20 repeated highest number of times comparing to all observations. Here, observation 20 repeated four times. It is the highest number of times the observation 20 is repeated. So, what is the mode here, children? Very good. 20 is the mode of the data. Therefore, mode is equal 20. This is the mode of the data. Okay, children, here we may get uh, one doubt. Sir, if 10 is also repeated, 
four times in the same question 20 is repeated four times if 10 is also repeated four times then which observation repeated many number of times okay here clearly two observations 10 and 20 repeated four times so which observation is considered as mode here anybody of you say already it was discussed in your earlier classes here 10 occurred four times and 20 is also occurred four times which observation is considered as mode shall we take 20 shall we take 10 no here those two observations are said to be mode of the data so children if 10 repeated four times 20 is also repeated four times the mode of the data is 10 comma 20 these two observations called mode of the data okay children from all this discussion we conclude that the data may have one mode or more than one observations as also more if one observation is mode of the data then the data is called unimodal data the data which has only one mode the data which has only single mode is called unimodal data in present discussion we discussed 10 and 20 are the two observations considered as mode here two observations are mode the data which has two observations as mode is called bimodal data okay children let us write note the first point in the note is the data with a single mode is called unimodal data the data with two modes is called bimodal data okay children let us understand mode concept by taking one more example you can see the same question on the screen the observations of the data are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 comma 2 these are the observations of the data we have to find the mode of this data whenever we have to find the mode of the data we have to observe which observations which observation occurred many number of times okay children you can observe the same question on the screen here which observation occurred many number of times after observing the data one repeated for three times observation two repeated for three times observation three also repeated for three times so what is considered as mode as we discussed one two three these three observations are mode no here are three observations one two three and each observation repeated same number of times then the mode of this data is no mode this data has no mode that means we have to conclude that if each observation of the data repeated same number of times if each observation of the data repeated same number of times the data has no mode this is the conclusion okay children we have discussed unimodal data, bimodal data and the concept no mode. If the same observations are taken, we can take one more question. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, comma 5. These are the observations of the data. We have to find the mode of this data. Children, now what is the mode of this data this question is 
same as the question earlier we discussed it. but one observation phi is added here here each observation of the data is not repeated for three times here one observation is there phi it is additional observation so we cannot say each observation of the data repeated three times because here the additional observation is there phi now we have to find the mode of data here what is the mode children very good here the mode of this data is 1 comma 2 comma 3 so we write therefore mode is equal 1 comma 2 comma 3 this what we have to observe is